And then we're gonna go this way and keep going up. Where is the roof? Is there not, is there really not a roof? I'm still going up. All right, and now we're gonna curve back this way and keep, oh, oh. Oh, I think we may have found it. I have to find out what happens when we get here. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, this is Scrapman. Back with another episode of Tracks. I was gonna end it with just one episode, but then I realized there was a lot more potential fun in this game that I did not take advantage of, and I kind of wanted to do that. One thing I had forgotten about in the first video was that I can build uh, a tracks that actually disconnect like this, and I can have the train go through the air and land on other sets of tracks as well. So I don't know why I didn't take advantage of this. It's mostly because I just I just forgot that it was a thing and I was focused on getting the passengers where they needed to go. Um, so we're gonna take this episode. We're in free play right now. We have no objective and we're gonna make the objective to create a crazy roller coaster stunt course of amazingness. And uh, I think this is gonna be a good time. I'm also gonna just try to make just a, an outright crazy course in general. We're just gonna go everywhere and maybe have just a bunch of spin-off sections where we can turn left or right. We can go all these different directions and loop back around. And I'm going to make it an endless course that we cannot fall off of, I hope, maybe. I don't know. We're gonna see what happens. Uh, I'm just going to pretty much improvise this like crazy. And one of the first things I'm going to do is uh, we need to go up and up and up and up and over and over and we're gonna go this way and we are going to go off of this section here actually i'm going to use this as a ramp just like that and what i've done is i've unlocked every single thing we have all kinds of decorations and things like that and houses and buildings and interactive pieces uh, let me see. I, I'm pretty sure I can add. Where are the pieces for the tray? The the train itself. Oh, here's a thing I forgot about too. Look at that. We can we can put blocks that the train can actually drive through. We can have the train. Maybe we're supposed to put them on flat ground. I don't. I don't. I'm not too sure how the blocks work. How do I delete the blocks? Do I, do I just leave them there? Oh, there we go. Actually, I'm tempted to leave them there. Let's do- whoops, I deleted the piece. I am not playing this right. I'm, I'm tempted to actually leave that there, the way I just did that. Let's see here. So let's go to, uh, boxes. Hey, it actually stood up. All right, so we're gonna go up this hill as fast as we can. We're gonna go around this curve. We're gonna smash through these boxes, and we're gonna go off a jump here. And now I gotta figure out how I'm going to put, um... I'm going to put the things back on and I gotta figure out how I'm going to line up the track to add another track down there But let's first oh we put a passenger car. Oh, why is he going? You should not be going. Don't be going. I guess you can be going I mean, I'm not gonna do anything. All right, we got two passenger carriages now Let's do three because we did we had three in the main game So I think three is a, is a good a good thing to, to go for. What's a booster? Oh <gasps> Is this what I think it is? How do I put this on the- it puts it on the ground automatically. I guess I gotta be pointing at what I want. So what if I'm pointing at this piece, and then I hit booster? Uh, you know what? Let's- let's run the experiment right now. Let's see what does the booster do. I haven't- I haven't used that before. We're gonna go full speed here. And I'm actually going to go into a third person view and watch it happen. Let's see what happens. Oh through there booster that did it boost oh there look at that all right well that was interesting so it looks like it's lined up perfectly with this radiator so i think we're gonna jump off and onto the radiator we're gonna have a track uh coming from the radiator so let's get a piece we're gonna put the piece on the radiator like that and that way we can actually just have this go straight like this now the question is where do i land i'm not too sure where i land so for now, I'm just going to have it be right there. And I'm assuming we can make that gap and maybe we can even delete one or two more of those as we go. All right, so now where should we go? We can go anywhere, people. We can go multiple places. We have to go onto these speakers. Oh, I see what we're doing now. And I think I'm going to have us corkscrew up a couple of times. Are we at the speakers yet? I think that's good. I think that is good. And then we can start building off of here. Oh, perfect-ish, kind of. We can go down a little bit. Now we're perfect. All right, and what are we gonna- Oh, <gasps> do you think? 
Do you think... I wonder if we can jump the speakers. I don't know how far our jumps can go. So what if we take it from here, we go down right away, and then we go straight. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect it over here, and I'm just gonna delete these. And I'm assuming we're not gonna make that, but I'm gonna build off of here anyway, and in the, in the event that we do not make that, what happens if we hit this corner? I don't know, I'm going to not risk that though. But in the event that we do not make that, um, I'm going to just fill in what we need to fill in over here. All right, so now let's go around here. Now we can go on the other set of speakers. Oh, you know what? We're doing a drop behind the TV. We're going to just drop behind this TV here. I'm going to need a, another piece. I'm going to put this piece right down there. Now the question is, are we able to land all the way down there? Probably. All right, where are we going to go from here? All right, I feel like we can go down and underneath to here. Can we go up? Oh, ooh, that's interesting. All right, and then we can go out. Perfect. I think that shouldn't that shouldn't interfere with us at all. This is turning out to be an interesting course. Can we go behind the couch, do you think? Oh, I'm going behind the couch. If I can do this, this is going to be cool. We're going to go behind the couch. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Please let me do this. Oh, it is so perfect. It is so perfectly going behind the couch. And then we're going to get a little bit of a peek above the couch. Just a little bit before we come back down. Oh, this is going to be fun. Oh, and we're actually kind of coming back around to our starting point. You know what? Let's do it. Let's come back around to our starting point for now. So we're going to take this and we're going to split it just like that. And now we can connect here. So now this can go in a different direction completely, and we can have another course meet up right over here to the beginning as well. But first, let's do a test run on course number one. Oh, the boosters! The boosters! I think that's our chance. But I just had the brilliant idea. Let's add a bunch of boosters up here. So if I look down there, and then I say booster, and what if I look at here and I say booster? I'm a little bit confused, to be honest. All right, I don't know how these boosters work, but let's uh, let's go to our train. Let's do first person mode first. We're definitely not going to make that jump, I don't think. But I have some boosters, and I don't even know if I know how they work. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going to go full speed ahead. All right. Now all I got to do is sit back and relax. Oh, boy. Is that a booster? I don't know. And we're on the track. Okay, we're good. We're doing good. We're, go we're doing good. Now here comes, here comes the corkscrew. Here comes the corkscrew. We're going up the corkscrew, look at this. This is awesome. Oh, we're losing a lot of speed here. We're not gonna have enough speed for this jump. There's no way. Do these boosters work? Boost? I heard a noise. Oh, we did not make the jump. We did not make the jump at all. All right, those boosters made a noise, but the hovering boosters did not. So clearly this is not being used correctly. That little booster right there. So let's get rid of that booster. What happens if we use a booster right here? All right, so now I think I have some boosters that are effective there. Um, oh, we should put some boosters. Can we put some boosters on the corkscrews? Let's see. Yes, there's a booster. All right, I think I'm getting the hang of it. I think I'm getting the hang of this booster thing. However, clearly we are not making that jump. So the question is, do we go up more or do we have this catch us down further? I think let's have it catch us down further. It'd be an interesting kind of disorientation. So let's uh, do this. And this. We should be able to make that, right? Just in case, let's just add that there. Okay, that should be plenty good enough. And now, let's see if we can get through this course. Alright, full speed ahead. All aboard. Nobody's aboard. Nobody wants to ride this crazy ride. Alright, up the first hill. We should have boosters here. We should just have boosters everywhere now that I think about it. Time since last save. 15 minutes. Oh, I should probably save this course in case anything bad happens. Woo! Woo! Alright, and how are these boosters going to work? Oh. Oh, those boosters work really well, actually. All right. Awesome. All right. How's this going to go? Oh, that. We need to delete that booster. Whoa, that was weird. All right. And now. Oh, I forgot we're going down behind the TV. Oh, it worked. This is awesome. We're going. Well, that was a mistake. All right. Apparently, we cut it too close there. Lesson learned. All right. So, adjustments need to be made here. Okay, now this should be a successful course. All right, here we go. Off to a grueling start. I forgot to put boosters here, and I forgot to delete that booster up there. I am a horribly unattentive train conductor, but I think 
I think we're on full power. Let's see how we do. All right, looks like we can delete one track there. What else can we do? We're gonna have that go up the corkscrew. It's going great right now. It is going great. And now let's see, how does this do? Where do we land? We land on the thing, so we can delete that. Where are we going over here? Oh, we're going down behind the TV. Excellent. Oh, go down, go down, go down, go down. We go underneath, up, down. Oh, this thing is going fast. He's going so fast right now. Now we're gonna go behind the couch. Oh, we need some boosters. Keep, keep that speed up. All right, and down. Oh, we didn't turn. All right, so we're gonna have to continue that, and we're gonna have to uh, find another way to link up over here. But we could definitely continue this over here somewhere, and I think we said that we can delete this to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit more grueling. And let's add some more boosters. We're just gonna add boosters everywhere. All right, and now where are we gonna go from here? Let's go around the back of this area. That's going to collide. All right, and now we can go down underneath here. And we are going under the couch. That is what we're doing right now. We are going to go underneath the couch because we can. And we are going to zig- oop. And we are going to zigzag all over the place underneath this couch at full speed like a snake. Like a sneaky, sneaky train. Oh, I did not save either. We should probably do some saving at some point. All right, we're going under the first chair. Then we're gonna go up and through. Oh, I think that is such a close call, but I think we can do it. We're gonna go through that chair. And then we're gonna go up, around, up, around, up, around, and over the third chair. So we're literally going on all three levels of each chair, under one, in the middle of another, and then over the third. And, oh, we got a cabinet up there. We gotta make our way up to that cabinet. Up some more to the cabinet. Uh-oh, we started it. We didn't start it early enough. When in doubt, circle back around. All right, and that works out perfectly. And now we're gonna drop off of here. We're gonna leave this one hanging. And where are we gonna fall down to? We're like gonna go onto the chair pretty much. Let's leave that hanging right there. And I think it lines up with the back of this chair. So we're gonna put a piece right at the back of this chair like this. And then we're gonna go underneath the table to all these chairs. See, this is like just improvisational creative freedom. We can just, we, we, we could just, we don't even need to have that much of a direction. We can just start going and see where the track happens to lead us. You know what, I'm gonna create a split right here. We're gonna have two different directions. This one is going to go up onto the table. And we are going to do a little bit of a jump here. Actually, the easiest way to do that is to, I think, make it solid, then just delete the middle piece. There we go, now there's a jump. And then we're gonna go over. We're gonna jump over this chair. I think that should work. I hope I hope we don't collide. But that is going to be a jump off of the chair onto that piece right there, onto this table. And this is a table that we can actually go, oh, there's three different levels. We gotta go on all three levels here. And this section is going down. Oh, we just miss it. Oh, well, we could just curve underneath. Here we go. We go down and then around over here and around over here. There we go. We're going around all levels of this course. I mean, of this table. It's a table, not a course. All right, and we're making a little bit of a tunnel. Oh, I think we could fit through there. That should work. We're gonna make a tunnel right there. I didn't even mean for that to happen, but that works. It totally works. All right, so now we are going to split around here. Oh, and look at this. We can go back up. We can meet up with that track behind the TV, actually. All right, so now we have one track that loops. Let's go and continue this way. You know what, this way is going underneath this uh, uh, dresser or whatever this is. And you know what, we don't even need those pieces to carry us down. We're just gonna jump down just like that. We're gonna jump down and we should land right there and then we're gonna turn. And then we're gonna go under here in two different possibilities. There's that way. And this way is going to obviously come back over here. And what's it gonna do over here? Oh, and this can actually connect back right here. 
All right, all right, this is getting somewhere, and that's gonna go back to the beginning, but then you have this other direction right here that we can build off from. And now this is gonna go under. Let's just make it like we're snaking through all of the table legs. Now what happens if I go over here? I'm running to, oh, is that the, um, we can go up like that. Can we just keep going out here? Is there an end? Whoops, I went all the way back around for some reason. I guess that must be the end over there. All right, let's get back. The whole purpose of this was to go back this way. All right, and through these legs, oh, that works. And then we can go under and around over here. So now we're actually coming back through the bottom of the table. All right, and now I'm actually going to have the biggest hill ever made. We're going literally up as far as we can. I don't know where the top, can we go over that thing? And we're gonna go this way. Now we're gonna curve back here and we're just gonna go up, up, up um, on top of this or over that, I guess. I don't know if there's a height limit to this. And then we're gonna go up this way, up, 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 up. We're gonna end with a huge drop, but where is the drop going to end? We have to drop onto something, but I'm not too sure what that is. So let's drop, uh, let's start heading over in this direction. We're gonna go up, 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 up. Oh man, this is getting so high, people. This is getting so high. All right, I think that's in line with that. So now I'm just gonna go up as high as I can. Uh, it's not stopping me. It is not stopping me. How high? We're not even on the map anymore. All right, we're gonna curve back this way and we're gonna keep going up. And then we're gonna go this way and keep going up. Where is the roof? Is there not, is there really not a roof? I'm still going up. All right, and now we're gonna curve back this way and keep, oh, 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 I think we may have found it. I have to find out what happens when we get here. So let's just, let's just keep that open. Um, and stop right there. And now let's start the course and let's just have some fun with it. Do we have any dead ends though? Oh, we do have one here. All right, where's this gonna go then before we actually continue the course? This is gonna go this way. All right, I think this one has to go up to that radiator because we have not used that radiator yet. Perfect, that was absolutely perfect. We can go this way in between those two sets of tracks. Am I too close there? Nope, that should be enough height. And then we can go up. And we can meet up with, am I lined up here? I am lined up here. Yep. We can just go ahead and meet up with this section of track right there. And now I think we are good. Let's get into our train and drive this thing around at full speed and see what happens. I probably should have put some boosters on that giant track up and I forget how to get there to be honest. So let's see if we can find our way to the giant upwards hill. And it looks like those um, boosters, even though they're sideways to the track, are still effective. All right, and here we go. All right, we landed the first jump. Even though I deleted that piece before, apparently it wasn't too much, which is what I was hoping for. All right, we're getting some speed up here. And now we got this jump. Woo! Landing on the upslope, going around. And we're going down behind the TV. All right. And under here, we go up and over. And there's got to be a turn coming up somewhere. Nope, not there. Oh, wait, did we? Are we going back to the beginning? Oh, nope, not if we stay straight. All right, so now we've just split off onto another course. We could have circuited back there, but now we're onto all the new stuff that we haven't explored yet. All right, here we go. Now we are snaking through underneath the couch. There we go. Now is where we go through all of the different levels of the stools. So now we're on top of the stools here. We definitely need to put some boosters in this section. Oh no, we do not have enough boost. We do not have enough boost to go on here. Uh, 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 we're at max speed. There's nothing I can do with this. Oh, we need to put boosts on these upward hills for sure. That's our project. That is our. That is, that is definitely the project after this run through. But how do I? I don't remember what turns I have to take. Oh, we're falling down. We're falling down. That was an epic drop, and we have a lot of speed now. I don't know which way I was supposed to go there. I just went straight, and it looks like we are wrapping back around. I should have turned. I should have turned. I didn't turn. 
All right, we're wrapping back around and now we're gonna meet up with the beginning of the course again. But what I can do is I can loop back down and make sure that I turn right next time. And we're gonna jump down onto the loop back. But now if we go straight, now we're back onto uh, the course that we just took. And so I'm gonna cut to when we get to the new part again. I'm gonna take, remember to take a right this time. All right, I think it's coming up soon. Take a right, there it is. All right, there it is now. What are we doing? Do I make this jump? All right, we made the jump, good. Do we make this jump? All right, we made the jump. Good. Right, take a right. Oh, there was a, there was another split there. I didn't I didn't uh, I didn't fill that split out. All right, I could have fell off the track there. That was bad. All right, come on, come on, keep with it, keep with it. How do we get to the giant thing? There's another turn coming up somewhere. Uh, right or left? I think we go right. I just went right. Is this the way that goes up? Oh, there's another split. Uh, I think this is the way. I think this is the way to go up to the top. There are so many different ways to go now. I don't even know my own course. All right, we're weaving through. This is where we weave through all of the legs. Nice casual tour through here. This doesn't feel casual at all at this speed, though. All right. Uh, all right, now we're going back underneath the table. I really, I don't even remember what I built anymore. Oh, here we go. This is it. This is the beginning of our journey to the top without boosters. This is going to be a process, isn't it? I hope I can maintain speed, though. I think it's strong enough to maintain some speed. So I might have to fast forward this. I want to see what happens when we get to that brown section of course. Do we just stop and hit a ceiling? Does it allow us to go on it? Does it give us a warning and reset us? What do you think is going to happen? Place your bets now as we make our way up the uh, roller coaster of doom. But look at how high that goes for that drop all the way up there. This is going to be epic when we get up there, which is going to take a while. But we're gonna get up there. We're making it, people. All right, we are so close. Right around this corner, the track turns brown. What happens? Are we too high? <gasps> Wait, we're here. We're, whoa, we're gonna go off. Oh, no way. Look at this drop. This drop is intense. I'm not landing on anything, though. It is so... That was such a long drop. What? That did I could what is going on? That was weird. All right, well that answered our question. That is apparently not the ceiling. All right, well now that we know that that's what the drop does, uh let's try to actually make this drop go somewhere and that'll be the finale of our video. We're going to go back onto the track the way that we went up here, but I'm also going to add a bunch of boosters. So I'm going to go further up though. And I'm going to try to meet up with the original... Uh, I'm going to try to meet up behind the couch. We're going to try to drop behind the couch. How to line this up, though? This is going to be not easy. Does this look... Oh, I think this is it. I think... I think this is in line with the rear of the couch. So I'm going to put this right there. All right, we're going to see if my estimations were correct. And I'm betting that this giant drop will land us perfectly on the track behind the couch. Let's see if we can do this. All right, it is all boosted up, all the way going up, so hopefully I put enough boosters down. We're gonna get into our train, and now, place your bets. Are we gonna, did I line myself up right? I think it looks right, but uh, the perspective is a little bit weird sometimes. We're gonna see if we can make it behind the couch, but first we gotta make it to that section. But I don't think we should have to worry about falling off the course or having it being um, unusable or anything like that. All right, this is the beginning of our journey up, and it looks like the boosters don't work at all. Like, I don't know, I guess you can't put boosters on boost, on on, uh, on inclines, but at least we should be able to use those boosters that are on the flat section, I hope. So maybe that'll make at least a slight difference. Come on, let me hear that booster. There we go. Little bit, little bit of a boost. All right, so this is gonna take a little while. Uh, I'm just gonna cut to when we get to the brown section. And then we will see if we have lined this up properly. Wait, oh, some of these boosts are good. Some of these boosts are working. Oh, the, all right, so the boosts that are uh, parallel to the track are working, but these ones that are perpendicular are not working. So, interesting. Oh yeah, I, for, I forgot to use third person. Look at us go. Look at us climb up to the tippy top of doom. Oh, this is gonna be so great. 
Am I going to be able to hit that couch, though? I don't even know if I'm going to be able to follow it fast enough. Here it goes. There's nothing I can do now. Here it goes. It is going on its own. And off it goes. Oh, this is epic. Look at how far it's going down. It just came into the light. Is it going to hit? Is it going to hit? Look at that. That is so epic. That is so epic. And... Did we just... We just went through... We just went through the course. <laughs> that was like both anticlimactic and like at the same time, we actually got an unexpected result. Uh, I don't know how to, I really don't know how, I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know whether that was good or bad. It just was not expected. Well, I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, let me know if you liked it. Uh, I think this is going to be the last episode for the series. I hope you did enjoy it, but yeah, it's just, it's, it's a pretty simple, pretty easy to play game. You just put the tracks down and drive the train on the tracks and do whatever you want. And apparently there's no ceiling. So let me know what the, what your favorite part of the episode was in the comments below. I always like it when people leave timestamps to their favorite parts so I can click it and you guys can click it and, and uh, watch it and remember that part as well. Don't forget to subscribe for some more future gaming content like this. And this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>